hello friends so it's been a while till i have made any video so in this video we are going to be talking about what are seams and uh, what they do and how they are helpful for an organization so just a basic overview of a seam is like seam is a centralized system where an organization can store and monitor all the logs of their internal systems and servers and uh, the same stand for security information and event management system so by the name of it you can tell that it is for, uh, mostly responsible for security information of the organization and after that managing all the events and logs that are being generated in, uh, within the organization so over here in this article i have covered almost all the major uh, points that a seam covers so uh, if you go through it you can uh, like you can understand how a seam works so uh, the basic idea of a seam is like that it is a central system within an organization and it is it used different techniques to gather logs from all the devices present in the network like you can say uh, it is a client server kind of uh, architecture like where a seam is a server and clients are the systems that are sending logs to the same same server so there are different methods for sending logs to a scene so if you take a look at uh, over here is like there are two main methods where uh, by which logs are collected by the scene one approach is like agent uh, agent based approach and the second is agentless like uh, on the windows systems or macintosh or on the linux system there are different agents that are provided by the same uh, solution that are used to transmit all the event logs and the uh, integrity checks that are in place uh, in the OS to the scene. And on the, if you go to the switches and routers, there is no such kind of uh, configuration where you can install a, a separate package that is going to send all the logs to the scene. So there we use the agentless, agentless approach, uh, which is like there is an inbuilt service like uh, which is called syslog. So all the events are piped through syslog to the same server. So a syslog server collects all the logs of the device like switches and routers. And then the syslog server forwards all those logs to the same solution main uh, data log collection uh, so it can perform further actions that a seam do in uh, in order to analyze the security uh, security events and attack scenarios that are being monitored in the organization so if you look at the working of a seam it uh, it works like in a in such a way that it collects logs from all the sources which is the main purpose and then convert them to a standard format like it will there will be a layout where it will uh, gather all the fields that are related to a sim uh, an attack or analog like in the case of network logs it will categorize it in the form of request packet sent and the destination and the host and the mac address and different type of fields so there is a standard format for which is different uh, which varies from same to same so every same has a different set of standard formats that they use to standardize all the logs after that uh, uh, analyzation is a process where all the logs are monitored and they are uh, correlated with the uh, rule sets that uh, rule sets that are predefined within the same solution so like there are different uh, the main working of a same is like it it have a different rule set and it compares the logs 
with the rule set in order to identify any security breach or in order to uh, <coughs> identify an attack pattern that is being going on within the organization by looking at the logs and matching the logs with the relevant uh, rule sets that are provided by the same solutions so all the all those are done using correlations like they compare uh, the logs with the rule sets like uh, here is an example like there is a rule to detect invalid number of login attempts on a system so there is a rule that checks that if uh, if i am getting a log from a system that there are four in multiple invalid login attempts to the computer the this is a potential password guessing attack or a brute force attack that is being conducted on that particular system so there is a rule set that checks the if i am getting a log from a system within this time frame that there are multiple invalid login attempts then i should create an alert on the dashboard that give the user visibility uh, the, uh, that there is something wrong with that system or someone is trying to get access to that system so this these are the kind of rules that are pre-built in a scene so same works work around all the rule set and then there is the uh, aspect of uh, detecting the anomalies and detecting the attack patterns like this this is done using the log analysis and machine learning and training the same solution in in your environment that it can automatically detect uh, uh, the attacks that are being generated but by comparing that the current logs with the previously uh, generated attacks and uh, then uh, uh, giving the user alerts like if uh, in the past year there was some kind of attack the same solution will learn uh, learn the pattern of that attack and how that happened and then it will compare all the traffic with that uh, 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 like uh, it will compare that the current traffic with the previously uh, identif malicious identified traffic and then uh, perform analysis of the logs to detect an attack so this is how our same solution works so there are different same solutions that can uh, be used by uh, different organization based on what is their requirement and now same solutions have become really uh, important for large and medium scale organizations that uh, need to monitor their uh, enterprise level architecture and the devices that are within the organization to uh, to pre prevent them from a uh, potential data loss or a cyber attack so uh, the thing is that same solutions are very financially costly like they will be uh, co their cost will be ridiculous like IBM Curator which is a solution by I, uh, IBM and it, it costs about uh, it costs more than one million dollars a year uh, which is a very ridi ridiculous price and only uh, a big enterprises will be able to pay that so there are different uh, open source solutions uh, for same which we will be covering in future videos so uh, the main purpose of this is uh, the same uh, implementing a same solution is like to get a better visibility of the network and the infrastructure and to predict a attack before it happens and nowadays m most of the teams are equipped with analyzing according to the compliance regulations like if you are working with a financial orga uh, organization which is managing financials of users so uh, there is a compliance for that which is PCI DSS uh, which uh, defines the pre uh, rule sets that if you are uh, doing 
any business within the financial sector you, there are these rules that you have to follow so now a day seem solutions are also take, uh, taking a look at uh, the compliance regulations and telling the organization where they lack and where they can improve the compliance so this is a very good uh, approach for the organizations to better understand the infrastructure and security of their system and improve the overall uh, security infrastructure of the uh, organization so this is it for this video and we will be covering more about seams and in uh, SOC solutions that are open source and how to deploy them and how to use them. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.